this is Lou Katzos, the president of Emka, and I'm here with Paul Katrosius. Uh, we're doing an event together uh, uh, today at the Russian Tea Room. Uh, we decided to collaborate uh, to do something different, to do something new. Welcome to Edmis Expo's Tasta Velas at the Russian Tea Room here in Manhattan, the heart of New York City. Today, Edmis Expo has partnered with Embeka, uh, Mr. Lou Katsos and his wonderful team. We would like to thank the East Mediterranean Business Culture Alliance for their hard work and welcoming us to New York City. I want to thank very much Mr. Lou Katsos and the Eastern Mediterranean Business and Cultural Alliance for taking us under his wings, literally, and say, okay, Paul, let's reintroduce the Hermes Expo to the New York City with a new theme. And the new theme is a panel discussion, an educational panel discussion that gives information about importing and exporting a taste of Hellas, as he calls it. Yes, I call a taste it of Hellas. No, I like a taste it's of Hellas, okay. of course. It's the same thing. Yeah, it, it's is. Just, it is better, yeah, yeah. and I agree on that. And I thank him very much for um, supporting the Hermes Expo, regrow uh, in New York City and in the United States, and continue to play its role to connect the business people from Greece, from the United States, from the Eastern European countries, and all over the world. Well, uh, EMCA certainly, or the East Mediterranean Business Cultural Alliance, uh, promotes these type of events, in particular now with what's happening economically in, uh, in the Republic of, uh, of uh, Elas. We have a situation where we have to promote uh, industry there, local industry there, to export their products. And uh, certainly it's one of the things that we are all about, and I'm, I'm glad to collaborate on this particular event, the Taste of Elas, with, with Paul and his group. Thank you. And today we're going to see uh, panelists that uh, they are importing uh, Greek wine for years and years and they know uh, the ropes. They're going to tell us all about it, uh, about the Greek food, Greek specialty food. Also, the case of Mega Gyros. And we have uh, Greg Zapandis, uh, who is the master chef uh, in the United States of America. And he's going to talk about the Greek cuisine. Also, Jay Cruz, she's going to talk about how to help business people from Greece to enter the United States and also from uh, American uh, compatriots to take products to Greece and the Eastern Mediterranean. Well, join us for this event and uh, let's have fun and uh, some education and certainly a lot of networking tonight. Thank you again. Mr. Katsos, thank I you. really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Today we are featuring wines from all over Greece, various Greek products from our wonderful vendors that you will see shortly. We are working with the Serab Import. All the trappers we have here are completely made. The Greek wines from Greece, Peperocini, Chardinera, all of these are Greek products. The yogurt, as well as the Greek, is 100% pure sheep yogurt. Από πρόβατο ελληνικά, να το πούμε έτσι, χωρί δεστραγγιχτό, χωρί artificial products inside, τίποτε. Όλα είναι μια τέλεια μάζα από ελληνικά προϊόντα. Κάπαρε, μπαχαρικά και όλα ό,τι μπορείτε. Ο κόσμο μα βρίσκει στο Serab Import. Είμαστε στο Λίντερ και στο Λογάιλα. Το τηλέφωνο τη εταιρεία είναι 631-957-8888. Το όνομά μου Σπύρο. We also have a great panel that will be discussing uh, European trade uh, actions that can occur here in the USA and as well as uh, in the Balkans, Greece and southeastern European countries. 
Egypt. Originally a taste of Greece, but everyone knows, everyone who knows me knows I have a problem with the terminology or the word Greece. I prefer Elas. So we decided to compromise and call it a taste of Elas, uh, a Mediterranean palate uh, trade por uh, portal. We have uh, tonight uh, some, uh, some wonderful speakers who will discuss various aspects of the industry. And Paul will, of course, introduce him. Thank you, Mr. President of the Eastern Mediterranean Business and Cultural Alliance, Mr. Katsos, and uh, EMBCA members, distinguished guests, distinguished uh, guests, distinguished speakers, members of the media, and prominent business leaders in the hospitality industry, ladies and gentlemen. In 1992, we introduced the Hermes Expo to connect Greek Americans and Philhellenes by providing a forum to network and expand their business and professions. We held expos in Atlantic City, in New York City, if you remember, at the Hilton and Javits Center, in Chicago at the Navy Pier, and now we have become a boutique expo held in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. The Hermes Expo is a place where everyone can find somewhere, something of interest and most of all can communicate throughout our extensive network. Connect on a personal basis, promoting your product or business. An opportunity that gives you the face-to-face, business-to-business contact which is needed more now than ever before. Think about that. When you come to the Hermes Expo as a vendor or as a guest, we offer you 26 years of experience and success. We have purposely evolved and specialized within the Hermes Expo networking events, where we now target the restaurant and hospitality industry and other sectors taking advantage of the expertise available from the Hermes Expo League of Business. Purchasers and vendors come from all over the region to participate in this live forum. Hermes Expo and Hermes Trade Route is pleased to announce the latest endeavors, Agoreos, a new service for Greek and Southeastern European and Eastern Mediterranean companies seeking to enter the U.S. market and U.S. companies doing business with Greece and Southeastern European and Eastern Mediterranean. We have teamed up with uh, TVC Global, world-class experts in business, law, sales, and marketing, to create a one-stop shop with everything you need to be successful. The parallel arm of the Hermes Expo is the Hellenic News of America, a bilingual publication established in 1987, which one of the pillars of communication and culture that informs, entertains, and unites the Greek American community, regionally and nationally. We are available in print, online, and on social media. On October 29th of this year, we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Hellenic News of America, and everyone is invited to attend. Hermes Expo is a unique opportunity for the Greek American and Phil Hellenic community. Thank you for joining us tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you someone who is very well known in the business community for his efforts to introduce the wines of Greece to the U.S. market via the Greek American Stepping Stone, the owners of the Greek restaurants in the United States of America, Mr. Sam Katechis of Stellar Imports. I will leave you with some thoughts. Uh, this is my 27th year in the Greek wine industry and alcoholic beverages, not beer. I started back in 1990 uh, working for large American companies and at some point, 10 years after, I said I could do this on my own. What kind of Greek would I be if I didn't? So um, in 2001, I started Stellar Importing and uh, I've been with it ever since. We have been blessed, I have to say. My years uh, working, uh, might as well mention it, uh, for Pepsi-Cola in the early years allowed me to 
bring the alcoholic beverages of Greece into distribution across America. We are in 50 states. We are in the U.S. military. We are in practically every cruise ship out there. Um, and we have been doing it for a long time. Um, I wish I could tell you that we have had phenomenal successes, uh, but we have been blessed in many other ways. Um, in America, in case you don't know it, and there are people here in the, in the, in the restaurant industry who may be shocked and surprised a little bit, uh, there are 43,000 Greek-owned restaurants that can sell wine. What a gift. <laughs> I have been trying for 27 years to climb that ladder. I am still climbing. I'm about 25% there. Uh, <laughs> but with some difficulties uh, overseas, uh, we have paid some, um, painted some scenes of self-control, so we have regulated the amount of work that we put into climbing. Uh, pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, we got about 3 million Greeks in America, or a little less than that. 2.5. Yes. Uh, to all those Greeks out there, Greek Americans, first, second, third generation, uh, my family's been here since 1861. So you can imagine. Um, tell you. I have to say that whatever keeps us together, let it continue amongst the youth of you. Whatever has been placing us into uh, our homes through strength of family and our products. And whatever makes us keep looking for Kalamata olives, you know, stuffed grape leaves, and all those things that remind us of our past or our pupapu or our yaya, uh, let it continue into the future. I am honored, really, to tell you that on a national base, in all 50 states, you will find uh, since the last 15, I would say the last 15, 16 years, the, the Greek cuisine has become ultimate. It's really up there. The quality in our restaurants is phenomenal, both with indigenous primary products as well as imported from Greece. And more than anything, Paul, I would say it's your re relentless effort, never giving up, never giving in. It's hard, it's hard, it ain't easy. But you know, uh, you know, never raise your hands or say, okay, we'll find a solution, a resolution, fight on. And I think I believe that more in Paul than anything else, and that's why I stuck to it. Who doesn't know Chef Greg Zapandis to my left? He is the master chef and the master of the Greek cuisine in the United States of America. He needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Chef Greg Zapantis. Thank you very much, Paul. It's a pleasure me being here tonight, but I see many, many good friends. Very good. Thank you all for coming tonight. And uh, I'm gonna say only a few words. You are the ambassadors. We need your help. You will educate much more many people and you will get the word about Greek cuisine and Greek wines. I will tell you a little bit about me. I was born and raised in Greece but I was fortunate enough that I came to New York to study and all of a sudden instead of studying architecture I got into cooking and cooking is a beautiful thing but you have to love great wine and good food. I have seen Greek cuisine, uh, fine Greek cuisine, in the past uh, 20 years, uh, taking very huge steps in New York. And when we say New York, we're talking about all US. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, the first great restaurant that opened up into fine dining was Perigai. I'm sorry you remember that. that was the it was a great food. restaurant and up till now it's still a great restaurant. Now we're lucky enough that we have many great 
restaurants that serve Greek food. Most of our restaurants serve seafood. Is that something that we chose? Absolutely not. The public chose that for us. Many things are helping us. The olive oil. Ingredients. As a chef, I will tell you a secret. I can only be as good as the ingredients that I have in my kitchen. So when you give me a great quality olive oil, when you give me a super fresh fish, when you give me a great bottle of wine, I can put together a dinner, a memorable dinner for my guests to remember. What I see in the future, uh, I see Greek cuisine getting much more popular in the next five years. The market is huge. We're lucky enough that the flavors of our cuisine are very elegant, they're very simple, and they're very light. No better the roots to importing products to the United States market than anyone else. They import all the Greek specialty foods. They have a factory as well, and they are able to do private labels. Mr. Bardis represents them here tonight. Thank you very much for bringing all the um, delicacies from uh, Syrian foods. Okay, we appreciate that. And our last speaker, ladies and gentlemen, our next panelist is uh, Jay Cruz. She is an experienced business executive with over 30 years of experience in marketing, sales management, deal structuring, financing, intellectual property, tax and legal issues confronting companies that work internationally. She has a unique insight into the challenges of the Greek U.S. business, having lived and worked in Greece for almost 10 years before relocating her company to New York in 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jay Cruz. Thank you very much, and thank all of you for coming. This is a, a great opportunity. I hope everyone has been enjoying the, uh, the wine and the other delicacies uh, that were on offer this evening. Uh, now, my perspective is, is a bit different because uh, I work with a lot of companies, either Greek companies trying to come to the States or Americans who are trying to do business with Greece. Um, what we have here are some examples of just people who have been really successful at either importing from Greece or, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Sergio couldn't come, but he's an example of a Greek company who has come very successfully into the American market. Um, I've worked with companies in hospitality, some in food, but really everything, technology, software, and it turns out that the, the challenges are really exactly the same, whether you're coming from Greece or any other country to the States. Uh, there are certain challenges you face because the U.S. is, it's a huge market and it's quite different, it's quite complicated. Um, but in the same way an American, even a Greek American, going to Greece to do business discovers that things there are done quite differently than we do them here. And so there's, a, there's always a challenge of trying to make that connection. Now what I've found is that people who are successful, uh, examples have been here this evening, there's a couple things that they all do right. One is they do their homework first. They know what they're getting into. They don't just assume that the new market is going to be just like where they, where they come from. Um, and they understand that that new market is going to have its own way of doing things, its own taste, its own uh, interests and requirements. Again, if uh, Mr. Sergio were here, he, if you looked at the slogan, those of you might have tried the, uh, the Euros that they have, their slogan is Greek cuisine, American style. And, right? I mean, it's pretty, if you've tried it, it's really quite interesting, right? There's a very traditional Greek food, but they've adapted it to the U.S. market, and I guess they're doing quite well with it. So that's an example of understanding the market that you're going to and changing what you offer in order to meet what it's interested in. Another thing that um, successful people do is that they focus. Especially if they come to the U.S., they don't try to do everything for everyone. They focus on what they're good at. They make sure they pick the right thing to do. Uh, similarly, if you're going to import, you don't just go to Greece and import everything. You focus on something. Maybe you focus on wine and spirits, or maybe you focus on 
certain kinds of food delicacies. But you make sure you know what you're doing and you have a focus and you stick to that focus in the new market. I thank all of you for coming. This is a, a great opportunity. I hope everyone has been enjoying the, uh, the wine and the other delicacies uh, that were on offer this evening. Uh, now, my perspective is, is a bit different because uh, I work with a lot of companies, either Greek companies trying to come to the States or Americans who are trying to do business with Greece. Um, what we have here are some examples of just people who have been really successful at either importing from Greece or, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Sergio couldn't come, but he's an example of a Greek company who has come very successfully into the American market. Um, I work with companies in hospitality, some in food, but really everything, technology, software, and it turns out that the, the challenges are really exactly the same, whether you're coming from Greece or any other country to the States. Uh, there are certain challenges you face because the U.S. is, it's a huge market and it's quite different, it's quite complicated. Um, but in the same way an American, even a Greek American, going to Greece to do business discovers that things there are done quite differently than we do them here. And so there's, a, there's always a challenge of trying to make that connection. Now what I found is that people who are successful, uh, examples have been here this evening, there's a couple things that they all do right. One is they do their homework first. They know what they're getting into. They don't just assume that the new market is going to be just like where they, where they come from. Um, and they understand that that new market is going to have its own way of doing things, its own tastes, its own uh, interests and requirements. Again, if uh, Mr. Sergio were here, he, if you looked at the slogan, those of you might have tried the, uh, the Euros that they have, their slogan is Greek cuisine, American style. And, right? I mean, it's pretty, if you've tried it, it's really quite interesting, right? There's a very traditional Greek food, but they've adapted it to the U.S. market, and I guess they're doing quite well with it. So that's an example of understanding the market that you're going through and changing what you offer in order to meet what it's interested in. Another thing that um, successful people do is that they focus. Especially if they come to the U.S., they don't try to do everything for everyone. They focus on what they're good at. They make sure they pick the right thing to do. Uh, similarly, if you're going to import, you don't just go to Greece and import everything. You focus on something. Maybe you focus on wine and spirits, or maybe you focus on certain kinds of food delicacies. But you make sure you know what you're doing, and you have a focus, and you stick to that focus in the new market. So that you bring the right things, you know what you're doing, and again, focus is the answer. But Underlying all of these success stories that you've heard, and I'm sure everyone here knows many more that they can think of, is the notion that you have to work with the right partners. If you're an importer, you need to work with good suppliers. You need to make sure you're getting quality product, or as Chef Greg said, it all starts with the ingredients. Well, in business, it all starts with the partners. Who your distributors are in the U.S., who your suppliers are in Greece, if you're in the business of importing, or if you're a Greek company who's come to the States, who do you work with here? Who do you have as partners to help guide you through and work with you? And I could give you lots of horror stories of people who have done things the wrong way. Um, because we're talking uh, food and the restaurant business, uh, my favorite example is some very nice uh, young Greek American folks who thought it would be great to start an online store selling Greek traditional Greek food delicacies. They had never sold food before, they'd never done an online web store before, and they'd never been to Greece except maybe to visit their yaya when they were small children. So what did they do? They bought themselves some plane tickets and they went to Greece and they started driving around introducing themselves to farmers, hoping to sign them up to provide them with product on an exclusive basis. They didn't even know that olive oil is sold through cooperatives. Well, needless to say, this was not a business venture that, that went very far, um, but it was a great idea. It could have been a great idea with good partners if they'd worked with people locally. Um, and I'm sure that everyone here can think of similar examples. So um, for me, the reason why Hermes Expo and events like this are so important is because it's a chance to meet people, uh, to develop relationships that will turn into partnerships. Maybe not the person you meet here this evening, but someone that you may get introduced to. It's all about networking, and I'm very pleased that uh, there is such a thing as a Hermes Expo, and uh, we're looking forward to doing more work with Paul. Thank you.
One thing that's very important, obviously, is that they are able to export their products uh, into uh, countries like the United States. Some of the speakers here spoke about what the future is in the next uh, five years. The reality is that the Mediterranean diet, the Hellenic diet, is becoming a very, very big deal in the United States. It's becoming actually, as was, as was indicated, a huge market, a huge market. And one of the things that they talked about in Athens, uh, those who were in the industry, one of the complaints they had basically was with the development, not complaint necessarily, but with the development of this huge market, can the, the, uh, the small actually entrepreneurs in Greece in many ways, like they are in Italy or let's say in, uh, in Spain, can they in fact uh, bring in the product that's required for the market? But uh, one thing that is clear is that there's no more varieties anywhere, anywhere of grapes in the world as there is in Alas. Is that true? A fact by far, correct? And as a matter of fact, all the wines that you have in most of the countries in Europe, France, etc., where did they come from? How did they become, how did they get these wines? Where did they come from? They grafted it from our rootstock. <laughs> from Elas. Okay, so I leave you with that message. Again, uh, thank, thank you, Paul, tonight for setting this up, bringing these great panelists. And also, for those of you in the audience, don't forget May 4th, the Hellenic Rebetica Harlem Blues concert at St. Peter's. Thank you. A round of applause for our, our panel. Tonight was a tremendous success here at the Russian Tea Room at the Taste of Elas, co-sponsored by Hermes Expo International and Embeka. Thank you again, Mr. Katsos. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Thank you. Once again, we would like to thank our media sponsors, Michalis Yukomelos from MGTV USA, and of course, the Hellenic News of America. Thank you very much.